Hello everyone, my name is Kleinen, and you may notice my face is kind of red. That's because I just got done redecorating my entire room in a hoodie. <laughs> I probably should have taken it off, but you know what? I live in this thing. And, and hoodies in general. This isn't the one I always wear. I, there's a bunch of other ones. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Let me count. <laughs> I have seven. <laughs> a System of a Down one, a Nirvana one, an Unis Honest one, a Breaking Benjamin one, the Metallica one, a Crunchyroll <laughs> one, and uh, one from Ohio, when I went to frickin' Ohio. Anyway, <laughs> um, my room has been updated, as I've already stated. You may be able to notice some of the stuff. There aren't too big of changes, but I got this today. This Unus Honest poster, this limited edition holographic Unus Honest poster, I just got today. <laughs> um, I would slip into the Unis Honest hoodie that I just got a few days ago, but I don't feel like doing that just for a video. If you want, you really want to see it, you can click up at the top in the corner, whichever corner. I don't know which one it shows up in anymore, but that's the that that's the video where I did a I um I went to a flea market and I got stuff and I wore that hoodie. Anyway, <laughs> also if you want to see the original taste test of the Major Melon, not the Zero Sugar version, just the normal version. Also, also, I can't speak, also click up at the top. I'll probably talk more about, I'll, if you can't notice everything, I'll talk more about everything that's new in the background of my room, because I never spend 10 full minutes talking about the soda. Anyway, this is exactly the same, it just has Zero Sugar. Now, I need to actually go get the other one, because I was going to compare it. <laughs> Okay, here I have the normal version. This is not the one from the original taste test. I just got one and I drank a little bit of it. But this is the normal version of Major Melon. This one is the zero sugar version. I'll be trying this one first, then we'll compare it to just normal mm, sugar. <laughs> so anyway, let's stop rambling, because last video I did the same thing for two minutes. Let's sniff it. Let's try it. Oh my god, I that's never happened in a video before. <laughs> No one shook that up. Nothing happened. Oh god, now I have to go get a paper t Ah! Ah, okay. That, that's never happened in a taste testing video ever. It's all over my gloves. Ow! <laughs> it got in my eye. That's never happened! Ah! I don't want to have to pause the video again and get a paper towel. I'll just... I have sleeves. Sleeves are nature's ma ma uh, <laughs> napkins. That's never happened in a taste testing video before. I, I def it's definitely happened before, but never in a video. Um, okay, so let us take our first sip of zero sugar Mountain Dew Major Melon. I'm not going to give any thoughts on comparison to the other one yet until I refresh my brain of how this one tastes. Would it be a sin to say I like that one more? <laughs> Normal, oh, I'm used to be you, you being able to see down here. I moved my camera up a bit so that uh, you can see me better and I'm not like, I'm not up here. <laughs> Would it be a sin to say I like the zero sugar better? I mean, they taste practically the same, but this one, I don't know what it is about it. Just the zero sugar, I've always liked Mountain Dew Zero actually better than normal Mountain Dew. People think I'm insane <laughs> due to that, but when Mountain Dew Zero came out at the beginning of last year, it's always, it's already been a year since the original Mountain Dew Zero came out, God. <laughs> but I actually like the, the zero sugar version better than just normal sugar version. Which I guess makes sense, because <laughs> I like Mountain Dew Zero better than normal Mountain Dew. Um, I still like Baja Blast better than Baja Blast Zero. I don't know if Code Red Zero even exists, but they should make zero sugar of all the flavors. You know, Code Red, Voltage, Livewire, those, the really popular ones, instead of just new ones. They should make zero sugar versions of all the, well, the main three popular ones are Livewire, Voltage, and Code Red. They should make zero sugar versions of all of those. Maybe they exist, and I've just never seen them ever. <laughs> Maybe they do. But yeah, that tastes practically the same. But I can't describe to you what it is. About I think it's just because, obviously, because there's sugar, zero sugar, it's a lot less sweet. I thought the Mountain Dew Major Mountain, I thought that one was really sweet. This one is almost perfect. <laughs> 
Yeah, this one's almost perfect. I, I thought that one was a little bit too sweet. This one has just, I mean, there's zero sugar, so there's really no sugar to make it sweet, but it's still somehow exactly the right level of sweetness. And my hair looks terrible. Don't go in the comments about it. I already know. So, yeah. Five minutes in, if you're still watching, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, it really just tastes almost the same. If you didn't know what that one tastes like, it's really just watermelon with a hint of some other fruit in there. I still don't know what it is. It's, it's, it can range anywhere from cherry to strawberry to it could be freaking dragon fruit. I have no idea what it tastes like. It kind of tastes like dragon fruit, but you know what? I mean, there's kind of a watermelon dragon on here. So, you know what? Maybe it's dragon fruit. I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, that's Mountain Dew Major Melon Zero Sugar. It tastes nearly the exact same, but it has zero sugar. Epic! That's what we all thought it was going to taste like. Okay, let's go over the room. <laughs> um, if you're still watching and you don't care about my room, you can leave now. Okay. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I have nothing else to talk about. And most of the time, I just ramble on for the rest of the minutes of the video so that I can make the video 10 minutes because the video needs to be 10 minutes. Um, but <laughs> I'll talk about the room. Some things you've seen before, some things you haven't. These two pop figures back here, these two are of the Widowmaker ones that were in the haul video. Again, if you didn't see the haul video, it was up at the top. I can't show you the same eye tag twice. I might be able to, but uh, I don't know. If I can, it's up there. If I can't, then it's not up there. Don't be surprised if either one happens. Um, but yeah, I can get them down. Well, I can just bring one down. Um, you may have remembered that this one didn't have a stand, but I got it a stand. And this one is basically the exact same, but they sit up here and they snipe <laughs> from, um, from up there on top of the rampage box. They, they, they look down. I also did a video on the rampage thing, which is now broken. I can't sell that now. <laughs> I plan, oh, I can keep it in the box and it's Walmart exclusive and it's, it's stretchy and they're not going to sell that in a little bit. And it's going to be worth something one day. It's broken. I don't know how that happened because I took it out of the box once, then I put it back in the box. Then I was just like on my computer one day and I looked up and I realized that it was broken and it had that Stretch Armstrong weird gooey liquid coming out of it. Like something ripped a hole in it. Something like cut it down its side. And I don't know what it was because it's encased in plastic where the rip is. And there's nowhere that could have happened unless like, I don't know, some kind of, I don't know, maybe some, some kind of bug could have gotten in there and tried to burrow its way in there. We do get pincher bugs and stuff like that in there. If you don't, if you, if you live somewhere where pincher bug is not a term, it's an earwig. <laughs> um, but over here, you may have noticed some things. You might have noticed there's a pop figure mounted on my wall. <laughs> That's the, um, the Spider-Man original edition one, the, uh, you know, the special one. <laughs> it's bot, um, it's stand came off of his back and no matter how hard I tried to glue it back on, I couldn't. So I put some like sticky Velcro on the back of his head and it's sticky enough, he stays on the wall. So now there's a Spider-Man kind of leaping off and he's attached on the wall. This is, you can't tell, but it's a very old piece of fan art. Yes, I used to get fan art. <laughs> by my uh, friends who were really close to me in my school, they tried to support me by drawing me fan art sometimes and that's a piece of fan art. There's other fan art spread throughout the room, but you can't see it from here. The Spider-Man stuff still exists. You may have noticed that all the Spider-Man stuff was mostly, except for the comics up here and the big Spider-Man thing right here, most of the Spider-Man stuff that was right here was moved for this Unis Honest poster because I really wanted you guys to be able to see the Unis Honest poster in the videos. But trust me, all the Spider-Man stuff is still here. I just moved it to this corner of the wall. Actually, I can show you. Hang on. <laughs> if I go over here, See, all this is still right here. Here's the Amazon poster, this is this, and then all this Spider-Man stuff is still right here. I look much better in this light. Hi. Um, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> um, I go over my entire room if you want, guys. Oh, yeah, over here. Have you guys ever seen over here? Good. <laughs> this is a CD collection. This Don't mind these. These are bad drawings. But this is a CD collection. This is like my music wall. Not entirely. Down here really isn't. But we have stuff. I painted that. I painted that system of a down thing. I have a fake metal projector. This is pop figures of music symbols and these are all the CDs I have. <laughs> Here's the pop tower. Here's the pop tower. <laughs> um, but yeah. Can we put this camera back here? Yes. 
And, oh yeah, if you didn't know, we can really just like, like, literally, you guys want to see something funny? Hey, what's up guys, it's a gaming video now. Hey, what's up guys, it's a taste test video now. <laughs> um, people don't realize that about my room, that the walls are right across from each other. Oh, I almost accidentally ended the video. Um, can I, hello? God! <laughs> I shouldn't have done anything. I shouldn't have moved it. I shouldn't have done anything. Now I can't get it back. Hello? Can I- can I have- Okay, the video ended by accident, and I'm gonna have to merge two videos together now, which is gonna take forever. Can the camera still f stay? Can the camera stay? Thank you. <laughs> Good lord, I was just about to end the video anyway, and that stopped. This video is gonna- this section is gonna only be a few seconds. A few more things that you may have noticed before we end it. You probably didn't notice this, actually, because it's off over here. I got little plushes of Among Us boys. <laughs> There's also, you might remember there used to be like Coke here. Now these are the Coca-Cola. <laughs> They're old like um, six packs of bottles of Coke. And um, now I have them. They're like, they're not in my room now. They're uh, somewhere else. <laughs> uh, I couldn't put them in my shed because they'd freeze and they would break. Because then when things freeze, they expand and those would shatter. And they're old and worth money. So no. But... Yeah, these are all mostly pop figures, but I got little stuffed animals of Among Us. <laughs> Here. Look at it. It's amazing. It's adorable. I found this just at the mall. And they were like $5 a piece. <laughs> um, and they had like, well, they were like 3 for 20 So, I got a... Something fell. I got a blue one. I got an orange one. Or the blue one's me, orange one's someone else. This <laughs> is a red one. He's sus. That's the only reason why I got the red one, is because Mr. Sus. <laughs> anyway, D Dr. Sus. Uh, I'm a child. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Definitely worth buying and trying. I almost forgot to say that in this video. That would have been catastrophic. Go into all the previous taste testing videos. I don't remember when I started it, but for a very long time, I have been saying worth buying and trying. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good day or night, whatever time you're watching this. Klein Den goes away now.